Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The murder trial for 22-year-old Anthony Rahim Ariaga continued today in Mingo County Circuit Court. Ariaga is accused of killing former coal company executive Bennett Hatfield. Hatfield was allegedly shot in the back while cleaning his wife's grave at Mountain View Memory Gardens in Mayer Memorial Day weekend last year. Today in court, jurors heard testimony from officers from the Mingo County Sheriff's Office and experts from the West Virginia State Police Forensics Lab in Charleston. Each person who testified in court today dealt with evidence from the case in some way or another. The first to testify was the lead investigator with the Mingo County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Patrick Allen Mounts. He collected evidence from the scene and sent it to the lab in Charleston. He also reviewed evidence he didn't specifically handle himself. Calissa Carper, David Miller, and Crystal Workman also testified today in court and were considered experts in their field. Carper examined the firearms and bullets. Her results were inconclusive. Miller examined clothing and other materials. He found a stain on a hoodie collected from the scene and sent it to Workman for further testing. She explained to the jury that the stain on the hooded sweatshirt contained Anthony Ariaga's DNA. However, Ben Hatfield's DNA was excluded. Chief Field Deputy Joe Smith with the Mingo County Sheriff's Office is the last witness the prosecution will bring forward. He explained his part in the investigation to those in the courtroom today. After Smith testifies, it will be turned over to the defense. The trial will continue throughout the week. In Williamson, Shelby Porter, EKB News.